buddy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, look what I got. What's going on, boy? So this guy called Jeff, eh? Yes, sir. Comes to me and says he's dead. Send him. Holy shit. Ooh, I like I like the design already. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, sir. Yeah, because we won't we won't we won't go mess around with something uh, something less than a plus. Okay, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it all the way. This is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. All right, should we open it? Jesus Christ! Give me a plus one. One twenty eight gigabytes, bro. Hey, this Jeff guy doesn't play around. Eh? It's a lot of memory. <laughs> All right, so let's open it and see what this thing has got in store for us. Yes, sir. Nice box. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very. Uh, firstly, it's a very attractive box. Aha. Uh -huh. Push, push to open. You get me? Like push to stack. Okay. Let's see what you did there. Yes, sir. All right, standard box, standard, standard. box. Like all other cell phone boxes. Okay, here we go. Aye, 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 aye. Do you know what, hey? I put on these gloves, yeah. right? Because sometimes, a lot of the time, when you view a lot of gadgets, especially brand new ones, yeah. okay, the one mistake that they always have is that they've got this glossy thing. And the worst thing ever is looking at a phone with all these fingerprints. That's why I put on the gloves. You get me? So, in other words, SK, let me touch the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. So let's see what's in the box. Let's. Oh, everything's falling out here. We'll do it one by one. Okay, first box. I think that's the manual. That's the pin. Hey, about to demo. Voucher. Guess what? Samsung says not only do you get a hot phone, you, you get, get a hot voucher. cover. Okay. Voucher cover. Hot voucher and cover. Is that better? Plus. All right, cool. That's a quick start guide. That's the voucher towards any qualifying Samsung original accessory. Cool. So that's for accessories. Put that aside. Put all this garbage. So how much here. worth? How much is this uh, voucher? Because you know you sometimes you get two hundred and fifty. That's a good question. Check check it there on the side. Five five hundred. Five hundred bucks. Cool. So you can get accessories worth five hundred. I'm sure this is why this cover is here, right? But at the same time, at the same time, this is a very expensive phone. So my question is, how much are the accessories anyway? If that voucher is, you're gonna give us 500 bucks. How much does this cover cost? I'd like to take a guess and say 799. So what are you gonna do with 500 bucks? So these guys are giving you a discount technically, but yeah, you have to add your two. Bucks. It's better than nothing. Okay, let's put those things aside. Time for the phone. And now we get to the bad boy. Oh, I wanna touch it. Do you have extra gloves? I do, no? Yeah, but they're so far, bro. Okay. All right, so this is the lilac purple Samsung Galaxy S9. Boy, I tell you. So at first glance, um, I will tell you that this almost looks exactly like the Samsung Galaxy S8 plus. Yes, with the infinity screen. Yeah, the infinity screen. Minimal, minimal bezels. Because these guys suddenly want you to have all the screen and no buttons which is sometimes a problem because you know when you grab a phone right depending on your grip of a phone sometimes your pinky presses the button by mistake and then the, the the whole touch doesn't react yeah because... so infinity screens with minimal bezeling like apple does as well like it's very it's very hard to like operate a phone because now how you supposed to hold it and operate like this okay. you know how uh, mothers use phones i'll take jay what's up if your mother doesn't text like this she ain't your mom then. Then your mom was a bad bad. It's wrong, man. She didn't say that. Okay, cool. So the phone looking lovely. I think this is uh this is they probably probably the um their hallmark colour. Wow, that that that's yeah, but it looks good, eh? It that looks is so sick. good. Like, I hope you guys can see it everywhere. Okay, tell me that um I can't touch obviously. So this guy, this finger guy. Yeah. Oh, the, snap, the they've S8 moved it. had it in the front. No, the problem was that, um, so what up, this is a fingerprint scanner, yeah. okay? So the S8 Plus had the fingerprint scanner on the side of the cameras. Okay. And the problem with that was, um, sometimes when you grab your phone and you want to unlock it, you have to find where it is. And what happens when you find where it is, then you start smudging your, you start screen. smudging your camera lens, yes. Yeah. Then when you take pictures now, there's a problem. Yeah, okay. yeah so we'll just look at it on the outside. So what they have changed now is that they've moved the fingerprint scanner to the bottom of the double lens. Double lens camera here. Okay, it's a lot more comfortable as well because when you grab the phone, it's e it's, it's a one movement. It's thing. a natural that like you can grab a phone and then naturally your finger moves directly to them. All right. Okay, cool. That's at first glance. This thing looks freaking sexy. Eh? Now that we've touched on uh, the fact that the back cover now, surely, so we can definitely touch on the camera now. Talk to me about the camera. 
All right, cool. So what um, what I've read up on the phone before before we actually had the opportunity to do this, read up on the phone is that there's a uh, um, hmm, 12 megapixel dual lens camera at the back, and it's got an 8 megapixel camera here in the front, which is which is a pretty good phone. I'm still shocked that there's 128 gigabytes. And what's worse about that is that you can actually get it's still got a memory card slot, which Samsung is still sticking by, yeah. which can go up to about 400 gigs from what I heard. They've still got the um, 3.5 millimeter jack, unlike uh, our competitors there next door, which is, I mean, in this day and age, not everyone is moving away from 3.5 mil jacks. Very true. Very true. Uh, this looks like a USB C port, so it's not your original. Hey, can I borrow your Samsung charger? No, 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 buddy. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay. I can't borrow your charger, you and your Android. So now, in terms of the S8, um, the S8 uh, range, the Let me S8 turn this Plus, right? Um, they had safety features that um, they incorporated in the S8 and the S8 Plus. Yeah. Have they done any form of um, upgrades to face uh, recognition, your fingerprints? Can anyone, when I'm sleeping, just go, hey, SK's phone, I want to go through his text and go like this. Does my phone react? The great thing, the great thing, the great thing about this phone right now is that um, there is <laughs> incorrect password. I uh, know, right? The great, the great thing, the great thing, the great thing about these phones right now is that they've improved the biometrics. So now you've got um, a face recognition, okay, and you've got an iris scanner, which is which is what I find quite cool. Took iris me through iris scanner. Yeah. Iris scanner is like something that's like so futuristic. You know, you watch all these movies, right? And this guy wants to go into the vault of some bank called Gai Gai. Mm. And then automatically, what does he do? He goes up to the door and then it says, I please, sir. Oh, and he goes, <laughs> So yeah, so the iris is that thing there okay. around your pupil. So, so even now, when I'm sleeping, someone will have to let you go. You get me. But the great thing is that uh, the, the iris scanner and the face recognition you choose one of two, okay. right? Which work hand in hand with the fingerprint. So I can have the, the facial recognition on and the fingerprint on. So you know sometimes like you want to send a quick test and it doesn't recognize your face, you want to be just wanna, That's why the fingerprint scanner work. is now at the back to make yeah. everything one hand. So not all three work at the same time, but two work at the same time. Okay. Which is quite dope. Okay, the phone is on. Alright. Right, let's see what else. There's something when I was reading um, in the box. Is yeah. that the phone now gives you, I can be SK on the phone. Oh, that's the new feature called um, the augmented reality emojis. Now, the great thing about augmented reality emojis is that uh, what I found now when I was playing with the phone earlier on is that they, they're they dope, mm -hmm. but they're not the most amazing thing on earth. Like, it's not something to write home about. Okay. Um, what happens is, so basically, you take a selfie. And in fact, let's just let's let's try one. Let's just do it on camera for these people here because they want to see. All right, so we'll go to... AR emoji and that AR emoji again the whole thing is augmented reality emoji okay so this is this is also um, the same thing as what Apple has now the emojis that you can make the emoji be like you or make the emoji talk like you so this is Samsung take at it let's see okay so you click on create an emoji okay then it says create my emoji for best results remove gloss and clear away head then smile with your lips closed and give it a whirl <laughs> Cool. Give it a whirl. All right, cool. So, um, as you can see now, let's go to that camera. As you can see now, it says create an emoji and it's got the circle here to show you where to put your face. And there at home, you can see the camera. Now you can see everything. All right, so I'll put my face there. And I won't smile like it said I shouldn't. Oh, it says smile with your lips closed and give it a whirl. Smile. Something went wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Samsung. Something definitely went wrong. That's not my face. Cool. So now, as you can see, it's processing. And then what happens is that you're going to pick either male or female. We'll click male because I am a man. And then next. Up top. Right. And then it takes a while to just process everything and create your emoji. Let's see. So the great thing about these emojis is that they've got masks. You can change the hair, you can change the skin tone, you can change, um, you can basically change everything. See, like if you look here, if I change the skin tone, I am darker. 
No, my yellow boy. Jesus. So tell me, is this thing only restricted this uh, AR? Is it only ex restricted to the Sam? No, obviously it's not. But would I be able to then, if I've got a mate like Jeff, who's yeah. got a, a, a Samsung S9 Plus, yeah, and then I do an SK uh, AR guy, would it be? Would he be able to share it with me? And would it work on my phone if I don't have a Samsung? Late S9, S9. What happens? What happens is now this AR, this AR emoji acts as like a sticker. You know, like Facebook stickers, yeah, yeah. like love. So you yeah. can use it to like express um, emotion. If I want to send someone like a happy face in the form of a sticker, I can literally send you on WhatsApp, which will come to you on another phone probably as like a picture. You get what I'm saying? But then it's, it's, an, it's like sending a meme, but now you are augmented reality as a as a cartoon basically. So uh, let's see when you click OK. You see. You can send my emoji sticker straight from the keyboard in messages. So now it incorporates this AR emoji into your keyboard. Like an emoji. Basically. So then it comes as like a sticker. Alright, what else are we looking at here? Okay, so firstly, the one thing to, the other thing to note about the camera, because this is one of the most amazing low light cameras, is that it's got an f stop of 1.5, um, of, um, of which in, in, in night time, that means this phone will take the best. There's no other phone, according to me, at this point. There's no other phone at this point that can take better nighttime pictures than this. Because an f-stop of 1.5 is actually quite incredible. Yeah, I heard there's a phone coming out, or well, probably out now, that's got an f-stop of 1.4, right? So in daytime, it moves to an f-stop of about 2.4 to accommodate daylight, daylight time. Well, F stop. Listen, F so basically F stop of 1.5 means the lens opens up taking more light and that's why you can take low light pictures. Not even this DSL camera that we're using can do it. So what even this that guy's DSLR camera F that we're using. What is that guy's F stop what in this guy's F stop what? This one moves from an F stop of 8 to about an F stop of 1.3. So this is like this is like very close to like a DSLR camera. So as a performer yeah. and I'm going to my gigs, daily routine, daily things where I need footage to be done. Right? Yeah. Would there be a need right there? Hang it now, mind you, Samsung has given us a, an S9 Plus. Yeah. Uh, with all the features to talk about, the, the dual cameras, the, the more, the more, the more. Mm. Um, would it be now better to pack this camera with you and go to your gigs because you just spoke on low light? Uh, it's lighting. easier. I wouldn't, if, if, literally, if this was my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, I wouldn't come to your performance with this on the camera because firstly you're performing in a club mm. low light it's got a low f-stop 1.5 meaning what happens is now the aperture of this lens opens up to take in more light so I can so see it takes you the whole light of the meaning the surrounding room. light it, it grabs as much as it can so that I can take a great low light picture of you come on man you don't have to carry those uh, flashlights, you know? Okay, cool. Um, right. What does it come with? What's the accessories? Let's That's see what else it comes with. Huh? What's that guy? Oh, snap! It's a USB. It's a USB connector. So basically what you can do, which is what I saw someone doing the other day. Right, so you plug this little USB connector into the phone. And then, guess what? What? Um, the guy who actually owns this phone now, good friend Jeff, uh, what he did earlier on was, the moment we got it out, he took his other Samsung phone, he took the USB cable, plugged it into his other Samsung phone, then plugged that USB in into this one, transferred everything at a click of button. And when I say everything, I mean every single little thing. His wallpaper changed, the arrangement of apps moved from one to the other, so he literally moved his life from one phone to the other phone. I don't have a Samsung um, S9 Plus, but I'm gonna keep this guy. <laughs> you gotta keep the box for sure, then. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, standard. They still got their fast adaptive uh, adapters there. Battery life, because that's a quick charging adapter. Hey, they, they had these adapters. Ooh, they had the white guys. Now they got the black guys. These are AKG AirPods. So, what's AK? So, what I heard is that they've signed a deal with. Oh my. No, 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 Samsung. Hey? There's a guy behind the camera trying to talk to us. What do you want to say, Kuda? They bought the company. They bought the entire company. 
And that is why now when you buy a Samsung <laughs> Galaxy S9 Plus, you get fucking AKG earphones or earpods, whatever they're called, straight in the box. This comes standard now. Okay, USB, USB, C cable. I won't even lie to you. I, I, I like. I, I need an S9 Plus. I do. Oh, uh, these are little plugs for for the earpods. Yeah. What else is in here? And that's all. Empty little box. All these little things. Um. We touched on a lot of, uh, in terms of these guys, which you're so excited about. Guess what? You don't even need these guys. Do you know why? The Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus comes to you. Yes, you. It sounds like an ad. I wasn't even finished, but it sounds like a word for the people. it. No, no, no. You just, you just touched on something that I was about to forget. Yes, the sound quality of the S9 Plus bar. Guess what? Yeah. Stay real speakers. Okay. Actually, we'll play an example. So now they've moved, they've moved from, they've moved from, um, they've moved from obviously mono speakers to stereo speakers and this literally sounds like a little, I've got a little boombox. Yeah, week. it's like a little pocket speaker. It's incredible sound. It really boomed, because you know sometimes you'd have to like, um, listen to this uh -huh. and then you have to cool corn and then you have to like it. it. This guy just says, play me boy. Play me and put me down. I don't that's, need no aux cable. That is impressive. That's incredible. Very, very impressive. All right, so there's there's uh, there's obviously that lock screen button there. There's a volume buttons there, and the third button. Unfortunately, you can't even customize it to what you want. But it's because this is reserved for Bixby. Oh. Let's see how I can. Press and hold the Bixby key on the left and start talking. Release it when you're done talking. Where am I? Oh, give it a try. Press and hold the Bixby button to talk to me. Mm. When you're done, I'll listen as mm. long as you're holding down the key. Mm. Okay, wait, wait, let's do this. Let's lock the phone, unlock the phone, then go to it. Hey, where are you? Okay. Hang on. So it doesn't work like. No, no, no. No, maybe that's. Oh, that's just a tutorial. Start. Where am I? Didn't quite catch that. Where am I? Looks like I'm not able to do that. Very, very responsive. What time is that? Can't even ask that Let's it. take a look at what I found on the web. Hi, Bixby. How are you? It's going great. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Um, I'm hungry. Here is what I found on the web. Can you tell me a story? Once, a great hero named Bixby was fought for truth and justice in this world. Then, in a great battle. Our hero was caught in a thunderstorm and through the electrical current, he came a part of the digital. Bixby! Bixby. It is said that the descendants of Bixby live on today, fighting for incredible technology what? and awesome AI for all. Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus order speak! What I like about Bixby and other and other um sort of assistance that, that you have on your phone cool. is that usually you can't go into the history of what you've asked. You can see your activity with Bixby for the last seven days, which is unlike our competitors there next door. Yeah, but also that is not, so incredible. Yeah, but also you're not checking for what you said, you know, because sometimes you do that when you're bored. Yeah, and what I didn't like before with Android phones was that this guy, you see this guy here. Yeah. Okay, Google. Yeah, I don't like I that. I hate it because it's not responsive at all, but I think Bixby is a great competitor to Siri. Bixby hey. tells you a story. I definitely, I, I'm sticking to my uh, 9 think, plus rating. Do you think Bixby and Siri are... To tell you the truth, Siri hates Bixby. Bixby, how do you feel about Siri? I never felt the necessity to think about it. I told you. There we go. And on that note, that was a Galaxy S9 Plus review. I love to you it! By Lasang T and SK all day. all day, baby. Tune in next week for another installment of something amazing, something incredible. Hopefully someone sent us something. That's the name of the show, something yeah! amazing. <laughs>